Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick overview of what is on my HTC One M8 or what is on my Android. So I'm not going to jump into every application but I will at least show you my setup and a few applications that I'm running on my device. Now for those of you that are curious which device I'm using as my daily driver between this one and the iPhone 5 that I currently own, I am using my HTC One M8 as my daily driver and I am enjoying it as well. Now I do plan on going back to my iPhone when the when iOS 8 comes out or when the new iPhone 5, 6 comes out. So just to give you, I guess, some FYI for those of you that are curious. Also, something else that I've been meaning to do is a review video on the HTC One M8. Not really a spec review or anything like that, but more so my personal opinion of the phone and my usage as far as going from iPhone to Android and such. So if you want a review video like that, definitely drop it down below in the comments section and I'll give you my perspective of the HTC One M8. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So to kick things off, let's take a look at this gorgeous lock screen here. Now this was achieved with echo lock screen and I absolutely love how it looks because it's very minimal and it's very clean and it also has that iOS feel with this slide to unlock option down here at the bottom. Now when you get a notification I basically don't have any to showcase you have three options one is to dismiss the notification open it directly or open directly into the notification or to set a reminder to be reminded of that notification later and it also will group your notifications in reference to categories and that's really it. Um, there might be some other options in there, but I would highly advise you to just go ahead and download it because it is free and I think you'll enjoy it. Now on to my home screen layout. So unlocking my device here, you see I have this custom layout. I really like this layout because it's very minimal. And if you've been following me, then you know I really love a minimalistic theme or feel on my device. But to kind of elaborate more on how I got this set up, I am using Nova Launcher Prime. I basically hid my dock and I chose the 8x4 layout for my icons. And I also hid my status bar. Now I do have a couple of gestures enabled, which is basically just two of them. One is to swipe up to access my app drawer. Or if I were to swipe down, it would pull down my notifications. I really like Nova Launcher because to me, it allows you to speed up how fast you can interact with your home screen, how fast you can swipe between your pages. And it has like a snap type feel. Like when you swipe the page, it just kind of snaps into place. And I, I really like that. Now, for those of you that are curious about these widgets I have up here, my status bar, as well as my clock is known as UCCW. And for my status bar, I used UCCW status bar. And for my clock, I used Bebus or Babis clock. I'm going to put the words in the video or down in the description box so you know for certain. But I chose those options and that's how I got that appearance. I also put my Google search widget up here because with Nova Launcher, I'm able to say, OK, Google. And it will hop straight into Google Now. Um, before, I wasn't able to do that from my home screen. And I really love being able to do that like a Moto X would. Because I, I use a lot of the Google Now service. So um, to be able to just say the key phrase from my home screen is a definite plus. Now, on to my icons down here. The icon pack that I'm using is known as Bell. So I am using the Bell UI icon pack. It's a free icon pack, but it comes with hundreds of icons to choose from. And I really just love how they look. So you have a very clean, minimal icon where it's pretty much easy to read in terms of what the icon might be. So that's something I noticed in using icon packs. Sometimes I would go to my phone and I'll look and I'll really have to study, you know, to figure out which application I'm looking for because the icons look so different um, and it's just kind of it's not a clear-cut design in terms of what that application is at least to me but with this icon pack it was so I'm really really enjoying it and like I said you just have a ton of different icons you can choose from and all of them are high quality and absolutely beautiful so definitely check it out now for the applications that I use, I basically have a lot of stock applications here and I have these here because these are, are my favorite applications. These are the ones that I use the most. So I have calendar, play store, settings, maps, the camera, YouTube, phone, Chrome and Textra. So Textra is my default messaging application. I don't use the one that came with the HTC. I use Textra. I like the options. It's free and it gives me everything that I really need. I'm not boggled with a lot of different options. So definitely check out Textra. 
To the right, I have Business Calendar Pro. I really like this one because it gives me a widget. And that's really the main thing that I like about it. It gives me this widget so that I can access my calendar from my home screen. So I don't have to hop into the application itself to find out what I'm doing on Tuesday or Wednesday. I can just come to this widget here and figure it out. Then to the left of this homepage here, I have an, some other applications that I commonly use. My default picture application is Quick Pick. I then have Muse, which is how I got this wallpaper here so that Pretty much it blurs it by default, but if you double tap it, it makes the wallpaper visible and you can see it in the background for just a few seconds. It also would change that wallpaper within a certain amount of time. And currently I have mine set to change, I believe every two hours and you can use it with other, um, applications or other wallpaper packs, such as uh, I have a Crichton wallpaper pack that came with an icon set, Ellen, and then I have Currently, Behang or Behang, that's my wallpaper application that I'm using and it works alongside with Muse. So you can get this nice little background behind your icons. I also use Feedly. That's my default reader. Um, I check into that just about every day to find out the latest tech news. Um, that's my voicemail icon, weather, Google search, music, battery widget pro, which is how I monitor my battery. Definitely check that out. Snapchat, calculator clock, Instagram, Amazon, Time Warner, uh, my downloads, and then UCCW. And then I have um, some folders down here with some applications. Now I have a lot of applications in my app store that I don't know if you all want to see. <laughs> if you do, definitely drop it down below in the comment section and I'll make a part two of this video and show you what apps are more apps that I have installed because I just showed you a few on this video. But um, other than that, that sums everything up. If you enjoyed it, you already know what to do with that button down there that includes a thumb. <laughs> definitely follow me on Twitter as well because I will give you a heads up when I'm working on a video or uploading a video or just to interact with me in general. My social links can be found down below in the description box. Drop any questions and comments down below as well. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.